Put your hope in God. For I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. And now he repeats this chorus three times in Psalm 42 and Psalm 43. When the Bible repeats anything, you need to remember it. Circle it, underline it, highlight it, put it on a, on a post-it note and put it in the mirror in your bathroom. You need to see it, study it, analyze it, memorize it. You need to apply it to your life. Here's what the psalmist says three times. He says, no matter where you find yourself, no matter the circumstance you find yourself in, where you're at on life's roller coaster, God's bigger than it all. He has a God-sized purpose in it all. You need to tap into that. But also, God is faithful And no matter where you're at or what you're going through, he still deserves your praise. And you need to say in your heart and your mind and from the depths of your soul, God, no matter where I am and where you have me, I will still yet praise you. I will still glorify you. And if we could get to that point in our lives, life's roller coaster, we're going to be unstuck or we're going to get unstuck. We're going to stay out of being stuck. Life's roller coaster. Can you picture yourself at the end? Jesus carrying you from that roller coaster. He goes to God the Father and he says, This one, he or she, follower of me. That life's roller coaster led right to the gates of heaven. And God the Father says, whoever is a follower of you, my son, that we approve as being my good and faithful servant, will let them into God's amusement park that we call heaven. Last time I checked, Disney has some good roller coasters. SeaWorld has a good one, even for the little kids. My wife was on it with the kids yesterday. But we're talking about God's amusement park here. We're talking about heaven here. And so we need to make sure in the twists and in the turns, we're praising the God of the Bible that is proven and worthy to receive our praise. 